And this morning's blast of cold forced or co of cold rather forced the farmers to act quite quickly as their livelihood, their crops were in danger of being damaged. West 2's Marlene Martinez shows us how they fared. You know, it's 85 degrees last week or two ago, and so these trees want to grow. Chris Sutton hopes he beat back the cold at his citrus grove in Umatilla. This here is our is our bloom coming out this tree. When frost starts to creep in, it threatens the blossoms on his orange trees. That's the actual fruit for next year is it's going to be inside that. And for that new growth, the cold could be devastating. That's all dead, dead now. So there's nothing there. See, that was a that was going to be a possible piece of fruit for next season. The freeze forcing farmers to be fluid. Chris had to act fast, cranking on his irrigation system before the cold even set in. He started spraying the trees with a 70 degree groundwater at four o'clock Saturday afternoon. As day turned to night, that water turned to ice, icicles glistening throughout the grove. Fortunately, it doesn't happen very often, which is great. The drop in temperatures, no drop in the bucket. Chris had to spend thousands of dollars he normally wouldn't to keep the water flowing. Running the irrigation right now is expensive because the price of fuel right now is, is, is crazy. A tough call that Chris hopes leads to a fruitful year. After the ice melts, Chris says it'll still take a few days to assess the full extent of any damage here to the citrus grove. But Chris tells us he thinks it's going to be okay. In Umatilla, Marley Martinez, West 2 News.